Hey, what's going on guys? The Langbanger here. I have a new profile for you and I wanted to go over Hunters. So I have shown this profile the last few formats. I absolutely love this deck. I don't think many could argue on this line, but I feel like this is one of the stronger rank 4 decks in the game. Now that's not to say it's you know the most successful or anything like that, but it's just really good at what it does and that's spamming rank fours on the board so don't get it twisted but that's what i meant by that so uh let's just get right into it i put a little twist into it i added battery men uh some could say it's something interesting for the duck type or some could say like eh, it's been done well here it is anyways uh you have three seahorse you have three mahunder three pahunder three battery men triple a two nine volt and honest so I'm not using all the hunters I'm not using sis hunter um, I just felt like it really wasn't that good of a card um, just because of battery man trip away you're just able to go in the rank four so easily so that kind of like replaces it and kind of does it a turn sooner so uh, battery man nine volt I decided to go with just two copies because essentially you can get two triple A off a seahorse, and then these pretty much do nothing. I mean, you can still thin out, I suppose, but for the most part, you just want to get to the triple A, so I think two copies is good there. Honest, I was thinking of cutting just... A lot of people say that instead of using Honest in light base decks, it's better to just have more control, so... On to the spells. You have three Soul Charge. Two batteries, two duality, dark hole, and book of moon. Three soul charge, absolutely mandatory. I mean, you get two level fours in the graveyard, basically turn one, so this is live right there. Uh, two batteries, I was thinking of going to three, but I feel like you don't absolutely need it. You will soon find out that you get a lot of monsters in your hand. Uh, typically, like turn one or by turn two, you'll have like four monsters in hand. So it's, you know, you're pretty much set for the game. So that's that. On to the traps. You have two Fiendish, two Blackhorn, two Breakthrough, two Prison, two Wiretap, Warning, Seed Reborn, one Emptiness, one Bottomless, one Torrential, and one Compulse. So, I'm sure a lot of people are asking, well, why the hell are you using Exceed Reborn? I've always really liked this card. I've always wanted to find a deck that this could do well in, and I feel like this is the deck to do it. I really like Degusto Emerald, just to be able to recycle all your key cards naturally, and this just gives you another way in the Emerald again, in case they kill it. I mean, obviously, you can go into anything, and it's, you know, gonna do well because you're gonna get a material so it's pretty neat with Deltaros as well so uh yeah that's that um a lot of people aren't using black horn of heaven i really like the card i mean yeah it doesn't do anything against shadow fusion but you know they still sink or summon they still exceed and then against all the other decks out there you know why not for the most part um I mean, it's not good against Burning Abyss. Like, it can be, but can't. So, you know, it's hit or miss there. But, yeah, I still really like that. You just need mass back rows for a deck like this to be remotely successful. Uh, two Breakthrough Skill, just really, really good right now. Two Fiendish Chain. I suppose I could go three of a copy and then down to one, but I'm kind of testing two and two to see how things work out. Maybe I'll go to three and two or maybe even three and three because... Those sort of effect negations are just really, really big right now. So that's all I have for you guys. Uh, let me know what you guys think downstairs in the comments, and I'll see you later. Peace.